something I wanted to talk about was just like what you said about coming out of high school and choosing the right place for you. You talked about you had the options to go to higher schools, higher level schools like you have talked to me about your recruiting process and what your mentality was like and how you ended up choosing Toledo. So coming out of high school, um, I would say I had, I had pretty much all mid majors. And then I had like a lot of schools come in at the end. At that time, I wasn't like, I tried to cut myself off from social media a lot. So most of the things, like when I would get offers, I would hear from my head coach, uh, coach David Mitchell. And he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't big on like, clouting yourself or like pumping yourself but now that I do realize that I could have promoted myself a lot better in high school and showing people that I got these bigger offers and things like that but I wasn't big on like the whole celebrity thing and stuff like that but now looking back on it with the NIL deals and everything I definitely should have um but I would say like so it started with FAMU and then I went to big camp I would I think I went out to Skyway went to a big camp picked up like four or five offers a lot of mid-major schools like uh like Georgia State um Georgia Southern um Toledo Ohio um so when I started to pick up my bigger schools was at the end of recruiting but nobody tells you this like at the end of there's an early signing period. I was one of the first classes to go through an early signing period where schools are pushing you to sign right then and there. Nobody tells you you do not have to sign at that time. I was big on like, oh, okay, like they want me to sign in the early signing period. I'm going to sign right now. I signed. A lot of my offers came right before I signed because schools were finding out, okay, we didn't get this guy. We didn't get that guy. In my head, I didn't want to be the second option to anybody. So I went with the school that showed me the most respect throughout all of it. Um, with the co- with like the whole coaching thing is my head coach has been at my school for like over a decade now. Like it wasn't always a head coach, but he was a position coach, worked his way up. His family's from like has grown up there. He has wife, kids. They're all really invested into the city of Toledo. Me knowing that I'm like, OK. My head coach isn't going anywhere. He just signed a new contract, things of that nature. My position coach just got to the school. Um, so, yeah, these other schools might – they might have more to offer, like, school-wise. Yeah, your name would say look better on a U- maybe a University of Florida degree, but how long is your coach going to be there? Like, how, you never know with those type of things. Um, so, really, a whole new coaching staff coming in. Do you want to take that risk? Because you haven't, you didn't build a relationship with those guys. So I would say just pretty much find the best fit for you. Go where you're loved, not where you're wanted. Like, go where you're a necessity. Like, go where you're a priority, where people, like, they love you for who you are. And, like, they know the baggage that comes with you. Like, don't catch anybody by surprise. I would say be very truthful in your recruiting process. Um, Because at the end of the day, you say you're six five, really you six two, dudes gonna know. Like when they come and see you, that just makes it worse. Like they're gonna be like, oh, okay, this dude just lied to me for no reason. And then the offer that you thought you had, you never hear from the school again, come signing day, you're like, oh snap. Like I've had a lot of dudes that lied to schools. Like I know personally that have lied to schools and then come signing day, they don't have the offers they say they have because of things that they easily could have been prevented and stopped lying to their self as well as because being able to play a college sport, regardless of talent or where you're at, Division One, Division Two, Division Three, and AIA, JUCO, dudes are going to find you. NFL scouts are going to find you. Like I know dudes in JUCO that have Division One talent, and I'm just being real with you. And that's just so. I think as far as like the recruiting process goes, I believe just go where you're loved and where you're appreciated. I think again, all that definitely key information. The thing I like was you talking about your coach and seeing that he's been a part of Toledo uh, University tree. He's been there for a while. He has children, a wife, just people. He's he's going to be there in a sense. I think that's something that's major that a lot of people don't take the time to think about. Like if you take UF, for example, they had, they've had coaching changes recently. You're still in school. So just say that was the case, you would be looking at a new coach or probably looking to transfer. Like I know people personally that left UF 
because they got a new coach. They didn't have the year they wanted, all that kind of stuff. So I think everything that you said was major, but that's something I think stuck out to me personally, just looking into that, looking into your coach, having a relationship with him, like you said, and hoping and having the best idea that he'll be there for you during your time there. Hopefully you don't need a new coach or anything like that. So I think that's major for sure. One more thing I got to say about the whole coaching process is uh, make sure you're relatable to your coach off the field. Like make sure you, this is somebody you're willing to talk to, hang out with, or just chop it up with. You could tell them about your day, things of that nature. It doesn't always have to be sports specific, but definitely make sure your coach know what he's talking about on the field or on the court. But I would say this is people you go spend every day of your life with throughout college. So if you don't get along with them off the field or off the court, things just not going to go well. It's just not going to go how you think it's going to go.